I'm just back from seeing the cult film Koya Naskatsi at Dundee Contemporary Arts, which was shown as part of a collaboration with the V&A exhibition here in Dundee. And I went to see it mostly to appease my friend Jim, who's been trying to tell me to go and see it or to watch it at home for years. I never have made the time, but it was shown here in Dundee, so I went to go and see it. And they're quite right. It is an astonishing virtuoso piece of filmmaking and composing and cinematography and everything else. It had quite a messy um, genesis, my wife tells me. But there was also danger in watching a film like that, I think, that um, because it's been so influential, there's a danger that it would seem derivative and tame to my eye seeing it afresh in 2023, but it, it didn't. The colours were rich and jewel-like, the detail crisp. Um, I think, the, and even the music, which is Philip Glass, but it still feels quite timeless. I think the only thing that really gives it away genuinely is the fashions and the cars that you see. Other than that, it could be any time over the last 60, 70 years. I guess the one thing you can maybe level at it is that the sort of central message of nature good, humanity bad is the thing that perhaps feels a little most like a well-worn trope, but of course still relevant, still an important thing to say, or at least to talk about. And I'm really glad I saw it. It is, it was, it was insistent and, and it demanded your attention and it was disassociative and seeing it in the cinema was glorious. So I'm so glad I saw it. And Jim, you were right. I should have listened to you as on many things many years ago. Go see it. <laughs> 